Hello. Oh, there I am. I'm so bad at working this camera. I got a new camera and I keep looking in the top viewfinder instead of in the lens. So I'm probably talking to no one, but if anyone did subscribe or is watching, this is gonna be a day in the life with me. I've been watching a lot of YouTube over the course of the quarantine period. It looks like a fun hobby. So I'm going to Dublin today. I'm back in Ireland for a few weeks or months. I'm not really too sure right now, but I thought I would bring you along on my day to Dublin. I'm going to Platinum Hair who are gonna do my hair extensions. I'm on that post-quarantine glow up. I'm also going up to see my t-shirts because they're after been stocked in a store in Dublin. So that'll be cute. I hope you enjoy my vid. And yeah, like and subscribe. I thought I would show you my outfit. So my necklace is from Betty and Biddy. They're like an Irish company. They sent me lots of nice bits. Then this is my necklace, my Linda necklace, which I never take off really. Oh my God, my nails, gross. I can't really remember where I got the top but I wore it in a recent Insta and I was like, hey Linda, this could be a hit, you know? These pants, these are vintage Fendi, bitch. I got these in a designer vintage store in London called Serotonin Vintage. How cute. I never take these off. So I'm gonna go inside and have a coffee. Having my iced cough. Hello. Hello. I'm quite excited to get up to Dublin today for a nice day out with myself and get my hair done. I'm quite happy with my hair as normal, like natural hair, but I think I'm going on a trip next week, so I want a nice glow up. I want to get my nails done as well as my hair, but I feel like if there's too many inanimate objects like on my body at the one time, I'm like back bitches this is the hair transformation that you've been waiting for how amazing like I got a three-quarter head so not a full head but I just feel heavenly oh oh I love them I didn't get much vlogging done in Dublin because it's very much still a pandemic vibe and you have to wear a mask everywhere you go but I'm gonna do a bit of an unboxing for my brand, A Girl To Die For. If you haven't heard of it yet, go check it out, agirltodiefor.com. So I'm gonna do that after my dinner and show you what's launching on the website at the end of the month. I'm wearing my own brand. Don't know why I'm talking like this, but it's my A Girl To Die For logo tee. And it's just like the softest cotton. I wear it every day. Every evening I change into it and it's just the comfiest. Thought I'd give you a better look. This is the logo. I got this designed in LA and the t-shirts are all ethically produced, girls. And yeah, I have sweaters being designed at the moment. They're gonna be coming out in winter and I'm gonna show you the bikinis now. <laughs> Wow, big mess energy. <laughs> I have these all over the floor, but I'm gonna go shower and I'm not gonna try them on for you till I'm in Spain next week, but they're so cute. I'm so excited. 
I'm just out of the shower. I completely forgot how long it takes to dry hair extensions. Like I like to think I'm a low maintenance bitch, but these are testing me. I changed into my black a girl to die for tea with some cottons. Cottons? Is that a thing? Tracksuit bottoms? Um, I'm gonna show you on the laptop some pictures I shot in London last week of my A Girl To Die For bikinis. I'm having me some dark chalk because I'm a self-care queen. <laughs> okay, my, ignore my desktop because it's very triggering. I'm very unorganized, but this is the pattern first of the bikinis that I'm just gonna show you. So it's like a pink satin material and then I've put like the white A Girl To Die For logo printed all over, so I'll show you the pictures. So this is the pink satin bikini. It's like super high-waisted with like a beautiful tie at the front. And yeah, it's so nice. Look at that ass. This is Millie Hanna and Joanna Kutcher. So I'm super happy with how these images turned out, but I'm just gonna shoot more in Marbs next week because I wanna get more kind of like detailed shots. So then this is the white bikini with the black A Girl To Die For logo all over. This one is more of like a halter vibe and it's kind of like less thong at the back. It's like a little bit more covered, but it's just so cute. This is Freya Hayworth, queen. And I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna release this one first and then the pink one to follow. I don't wanna take part in the hair drying process just yet. I'm only getting used to this YouTubing now, so it's kind of more of an evening with me instead of a day in the life. I was disloyal, I didn't vlog enough, but I promise next week when I go away, I will vlog and I'll show you what I get up to. I traveled a lot last year, so I kind of regretted not showing you guys as much of my trips and like letting people know who I am a bit more. What is going on? Hello. So, <laughs> I will be vlogging that trip. I worked in London for the last three years as a makeup artist. Well, it was two years in London and then a year before that in Melbourne. And I feel like right now with this whole pandemic thing, I don't know what is going on. With this whole pandemic thing, I can't do anyone's makeup. So I want like something to do and videos are just super fun. Like I feel like if you're on a journey, whether it's like a fitness journey or a business journey like me right now, it's a good way to like document the process so you can look back and like see how far you've come. I'm gonna show you some stuff that I got in my ASOS package while I eat my peanut butter and banana toast. I was looking more and more disheveled as the video went on because my makeup has came off, but I'm now silky smooth. How cute. It's very like little Bo Peep vibe, like Mary had a little lamb. How cute. It's very large for my head, but I can make it work, you guys. Little Bo Peep but make it beach. So I'm gonna wear this with my bikinis. I think it will be really cute. And then they also sent me some sunglasses. So I'm ready for my holly bop. It's the next morning and I wanted to come on just to close the vlog because I realized I didn't do a proper outro and I think that's a thing. So thank you for watching. I'm looking a bit more glam now because I had a FaceTime photo shoot with a photographer from London in my new bikinis this morning. So that was a new experience. I've never done one before. I'll show you in my next video how the pictures turned out. But I'm also just gonna show you really, 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 really quickly. Two dresses that Opali sent me. This one's like a satin one. I can imagine this looking really well with like a flash Satin always looks really good with like a tan at night time on holidays. I can't wait to dress up again and not be in sweats every day. Like I finally feel so much better because I feel like everyone felt a bit like shit during quarantine. And this is the black dress. It has like a nice corsety detail and like a ruched effect. Is that what you call it? I'm living my best bodycon life. I will hopefully see you guys in another video of mine. So thank you so much for watching 
and yeah, catch you in Spain.